we have uh, previously looked at two words, one thing, in Psalm 27, 4, with David. It appears from that portion of verses 2, 3, and 4 in Psalm 27 that David did need to go into battle, but the one thing that was on his mind was first to retreat into the presence of the Lord. So what's the lesson? <clears throat> Don't go into battle without first being in the presence of the Lord. We need courage to go into battle. We need wisdom. I think that's exactly what David was saying. But let me read to you another verse that talks about one thing. This is found in Luke chapter 10, and it's verses 38 through 42. Now it happened as they went that he entered a certain village, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who, was all, who also sat at Jesus' feet and heard his word. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she approached him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Therefore tell her to help me. And Jesus answered and said to her, Martha, Martha, you are worried and troubled about many things. But one thing is needed. One thing is needed. And Mary has chosen that good part, which will not be taken away from her. How interesting. <clears throat> Jesus has visited Mary and Martha in their home. But what's interesting about that <clears throat> is that Martha wanted to be hospitable and she's busy in the kitchen working. Well, that's good. <laughs> I'm sure Jesus appreciated that, as any of us would. But it's interesting, Martha is busy working and her sister Mary is sitting at the feet of Christ and looking up at him and listening to his words. So Martha, in a very natural sort of way, uh, pleads with Jesus, get her in here. Why isn't she helping? And Jesus, in a sense, is saying, well, she's chosen the one thing that really counts. And that is to sit at my feet and listen to my words. So what's the lesson here? Well, number one, before we serve, <clears throat> before we show hospitality, before we do anything, it is good to first go to Christ. In fact, we have no resources on our own. But if we go to him and uh, seek his living presence with us, we have the resources to do everything. But it's always Christ first. One thing Mary had chosen, and she did the good thing. So what was she doing at the feet of Jesus? Well, she wasn't standing up, which is generally the posture of pride. But if she's seated, kind of bowed low in his presence, that's, that's a real position of humility. And that's the only way to approach the living God. That's the only way that we can enjoy fellowship with him. Mary's chosen the good part. There was just one thing on her mind. So I have a question for all of us. What's the one thing that's on our mind, especially when there's pressure to do something? Why is the one thing so important? And how do we know what the one thing should be? Well, I think this portion, like Psalm 27, verse 4, is saying the same thing. We need to get focused on Christ. God bless you.